now we give the floor to the shadow rapporteurs starting by the S&D group. Mr. Sanz, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like, of course, to start by thanking and congratulating Mr. Rosati, our rapporteur, for the work he did. I should also congratulate him for being here and being just as fresh as all the times we had clashes together because he's just come from, from a long trip to, to Peru and he's just, he's just arrived. And that's quite an achievement doing this. But apart from that, I confirm most of what he said. We had long discussions, some clashes, some disputes, some forms of agreement, and he's done a good job, the best job he could do in the circumstances. Of course, there are areas where we still are in disagreement, and that will come out in the wash when the vote comes up, of course. Um, as he said, we had to make compromises, and compromises that were quoted in different words sometimes, or words that could be interpreted differently on other occasions. I confirm as well the areas where we had disagreements, basically in terms of what structural reforms stand for. He would tend more towards, this may be a misinterpretation, but I think I'm right, towards labor structural reforms, labor market structural reforms, towards reforms that concern deficit reduction or uh, consolidation of fiscal structures and uh, government accounts. We were, on our side, more interested in the social dimension of what is being proposed, how to ensure that that social dimension is really protected and safeguarded, and beyond that as well into what growth prospects would be, there be in following one part as opposed to another part. And that was a subject for quite a number of discussions as well as the point he indicated concerning the difference between having a deficit in your financial system to having a surplus in your, in your financial system and whether given the structures of how uh, the union's affairs are being conducted, surplus and deficit pose, pose major risks or do not pose major risks. It seems to me that in our conclusion there is the sense the meant that both deficits and surpluses pose major risks though those major risks will not be similar in the different circumstances. There are major risks and dangers associated with surplus positions and major risks, different major risks associated with deficit positions. Beyond that as well, I think what came through was this, this interest, this concern to have CSRs that really contribute to growth in the union economy on a national basis and on a, on a coherent, consolidated basis. And much of our controversy was basically whether certain CSRs could be perhaps slanted towards certain assumptions that do not make sense, that are not giving results. And whether emphasis on other CSRs would not have been better. Also, concerning the record of CSRs in the past, whether CSRs have been really good tools in promoting, uh, in promo promoting growth and development in union economies. Beyond that as well, a concern I had, and it came true because of what amendments we are discussing is this, that we seem to be moving towards a system, if we're not already there, that is overloaded with rules and regulations. We are not a federal system. We are a union that is working on the basis of a currency union that does not have a central treasury that is not a supposedly a transfer union, but at the same time we seem to be burdening our component states and uh, members with rules and regulations that are far more complex and far more overloaded than the states in the US under a federal system have to observe. And that is something that I think we should reflect upon. Beyond that as well, much of what we are doing is contributing to increased regulation, increased burdens of bureaucratic monitoring of what is going on, that is, I think, also affecting our competitiveness. Competitiveness was one of the points we discussed at length, and personally I'm a bit uh, disappointed that at this stage we cannot, I think, say that the report, good as it is, with, uh, of course, reservations on what I disagree on, um, good as it is, still does not make sufficient contributions to new concepts that could promote competitiveness, increase competitiveness in our economies. Beyond that, I think that if we can smoothen out 
some remaining wrinkles in the final report. This is a report that should be voted for at the end of this process.